But there seems to be no end to the controversy relating to the collapse of the central dome of the under construction State Legislative Assembly building. Despite the government's decision to conduct a third-party audit into the dome collapse, the opposition Congress has now indicated that corrupt practices has led to the collapse of the dome. In fact, in a direct attack on the UDP, which is a major coalition partner in the NPP-led alliance, MPCC chief Vincent Pala said that any project monitored or taken up by the UDP is destined to fail due to corruption. Pala also questioned the role of Speaker Medba Lingdo, stating that how could the construction process go wrong when the latter was reviewing it regularly. But I'm 100% sure, like I told you before, any portfolios which has a heading by UDP will always fail. Be it in liquor, you see, now home-to-home -home delivery after UDP has taken over. Be it in rice scam because of UDP taking over. Be in coal scam, be it any scam, UDP taking over. So the whatever portfolio you hand over to UDP will always fail because the corruption is very high. But they are sitting tight, they are sitting idle there. They, they don't come out... Uh, to answer whatever the charges people made on them. So they cannot hide. They cannot hide. Assembly, uh, the speaker heads the assembly and he keeps on visiting. Uh, what's the problem when they visit? Where are the technical uh, people who used to help him supervise with, with, with him? Why not they check properly before they allot the work? So I feel that UDP, whatever portfolio they're having, they are not taking it seriously for the benefits of the people. They are only taking it just for their own benefits only, for the personal benefits of their leaders only. Furthermore, the Congress chief expressed a displeasure over the fact that the Indian Institute of Technology, Gohati, was given the task to carry out the auditing work. He pointed out that an independent or autonomous body under the supervision of High Court Judge or Retired Supreme Court Judge should be roped in to unearth what went amiss that led to the incident. Regarding the collapse of dome, again, I think the collapse of dome, I don't agree with the government sending uh, another one IIT will check another IIT. That is why I, in my previous statement also, I think we should send it to an independent inquiry or autonomous body, like under the supervisions of the High Court judge or retired Supreme Court judge. Generally, they will be come out whether the fails or the, because of design or because of construction or because of anything. So it's too early to say what makes it, you know, uh, uh, fail. But uh, I personally think that uh, mainly because of uh, corruptions. Uh, when the corruption is very high, you know, the worst, worst, even if the design fails, also it should be cracked or it should be a partially collapsed. It's not fully collapsed. So I think this is totally a combination of failure of the implementations rather than blame on the, on the design. And when they give a permission, I think a series of the authority have checked about the design also. So I think that needs to be examined properly.